Hello, people. Hope y'all doing good up out there. And um, I'm going to make this short and sweet. Let's get to it. Let's get to it, shall we? Now, let me tell you all something. When it comes to a male or female you're giving time to, yeah, it's cool to play jokes on each other. But leading them on when they're trying to make it official with you because they feel love towards you or cheating on them is not a joking matter at all. Because all you're doing is setting yourself up to never have consistent people in your life. To end up with temporary one night stand hoes that not going to care about you. So keep that in mind. And for you folks that lead people on and be cheating. If you're going to live by that fuck love brainwashing rule. Then let deep people kind. Then let deep kind people that love hard like tomorrow. Understand. And let me repeat that. So you can understand this. For you people that lead people, for you folks that lead people on in cheating, if you're going to live by that fuck love brainwashing rule, then let the deep kind people that love hard like to know tomorrow understand that you hold around people that's sweet and supportive. So you don't waste your time because deep people will not benefit no present and future from you. And you can go mess with those low lives you hold around with on one night stands. So, let's go to another one. It's time, baby. Because I'm going to get this in. And here's, a, and here's a thing that I wrote on a late night of thoughts on October 2nd, 2017, around 12.38 a.m. at midnight. See? My serious emotional message to the human race that's left on earth is I don't need any one of my ladies and guys to die in the spirit and the physical world to the point they become zombies that can't understand when someone loves them and can't give love back because they're giving up on being with someone special because of dealing with destruction minded assholes. And I can say for myself, too many people dying every day. That it's getting rare and rare for a man and a woman to discover each other. And enjoy each other equally and be consistent daily. And to make a long story short, the human race is dying daily because people just want to fuck each other over. And thinking everyone just wants to hurt each other. And it's to the point that men and women can't communicate anymore that is so sick and dirty. Just the way the Illuminati wants humans to be just used to one night stand, just to one night stand each other and lead on false hopes of bonding and I won't stand to watch that anymore because more of you females and males that have someone that goes out their way to get to know you being straight up with you when you let it be known that you wish you have someone that you can care for that cares heavy for you then you better not miss out on rare limited edition love you, you could get from once in a lifetime because deep people that you that you just leave on red or brush off in person because deep people are rare like year of the dog Air Force Ones. That is real deep ice cold savage talk. <laughs> because seriously, this needs to be shared. Because love is rare nowadays because I'm not going to bring a change to the love corruption of the planet Earth. The human race is dying off in the spirit everywhere I go in my area or other places. Or seeing corruption on social media is because of most people are naturally used to hurting each other. And making it difficult for themselves to give someone deep their time because of lame pride which leads to deep people getting frustrated as someone they're interested in they work so much nerve to speak to first and end up getting ignored or either led on or cheated on for trashy individuals who wasted a person's time you were not gonna waste at all then the one you have liked that you were gonna give that you were gonna give you're all to try to come back realizing they shouldn't have ignored your love we're going to give them. But they were naive by society's view on who to commit to. That's some real stuff, man. And here's another one. Another one. Let's go, baby. Someone who's living that fast life and only looking for folks that they know going to treat them wrong after sweet talking them for saying things that they want to hear just for one night convenient stands end up to get mad that love don't exist because they got used 
because they got used will always overlook the, the deep reserved laid back individuals who could be in front of them or on their Facebook or Instagram or social media and, and be ready to invite them to their small circle and give them love they've been raving about for the longest and, but be a fool to just see the reserve person of not being soulmate material to them because they're used to folks who were in the fast lane that didn't want to do anything for them to improve themselves but to snatch their spirit and drain their life with aching competition with other men and women involved to piss them off when in reality they need that reserved deep person but end up losing that reserved deep person again over game running whole ass cheating and leaning on people that don't want to do anything for their lives or people they get with and miss out on a laid back person who be about another person they have feelings for and will help them with anything and of course only reserved people can recognize another reserved person that's all to themselves so it's whatever but i'm giving you people that i'm giving you people heads up that's living a fast life that desire to have a partner because us reserved people that don't be with everyone are ones you need to date we reserved people need love too you know and here's another thing i want to want to tell y'all there's nothing wrong with committing time to someone that's all to themselves, not trying to be with everyone all the time, because those reserved ones are not going to lead you on or cheat on you and let you know they here for you. Because a person who always to themselves, when they take interest in someone, they don't fool around when it comes to love, because it's reasons they're, all, they're always to themselves due to dealing with much chaos in their life and being neglected. So whatever you do, don't hurt those people that have a small circle. And they develop emotions to bring you in their life because desiring to be with one guy or one lady you see value in that's always giving their effort and time to see you and hit you up is not lame at all. Just because society taught people to be a hot shot and play games fucking people over. Now that's what I call lame and is evil. No debate about that. No debate about that at all. No debate about that at all, man. Now, let's go to another one. This one's deep as well. Let me give you real savage talk now. You can have two 21-year-olds, but one will be different from the other, and I'll prove that right here. Because one 21-year-old that's not involved with themselves, that's on the brainwashing road, will want to just smash and pass everyone. They, they desire to just use and break hearts, minds, and souls, leading folks on while cheating on a person that, at the same time, while getting what they want and saying what someone want to hear, thinking it's cool to hurt random people for their own greed. And seeing, and, and see, being committed to someone that will love them hard as being tied down, which is total BS, plain in my eyes. And it's the reason folks hate each other. And try to use somebody before they get used because of corrupted folks that want to be on that trust no dude, no female, fuck little brainwashing information. Then, of course, then there's the other 21 year old that been through so much roles in their life that be all to themselves. That have that anime hero hard work ethic on Hall of Fame badge on 2K status. And when they are intrigued by one man or woman, that's all they desire to focus their energy on and be willing to support and care for. And when they get good morning calls, texts, and visits daily by someone they go hard for, they value like it's their last day on earth and not taking love for granted and always going to call and always going to tell and show someone they love deeply what they need to see and hear because everything to that deep 21 year old means everything so I hope you get that at will and here's another thing here's another thing I'm gonna get on I can relate to people who never had anything in their life or anyone because for those people that been through so much chaos in their life and witnessed too many people dying in front of them which Help them become involved with themselves into divine energy and distance themselves away from the physical world of false life of the Illuminati. Then, of course, if they welcome you in their life, they don't ever want to see you treat them like a backup plan and make up the lame stage of so-called, oh, we just friends, so you got to let me do what I do 
and you got to be loyal to me, but you can't start showing me love and support because I'm going to tell you one thing, pulling that on people who've been through so much, that's just going to cut you off and move on because they don't have time for closed spirited people who choose to play by design of society rules of life by mistreating people out of boredom, treating folks as an option because if a person takes time out to open up more to you when they get get done grinding with their craft in life, then you better take them serious because when a person that been through so much stops suppressing, when they stop when it, when a person that been through so much stops suppressing their emotions to finally show that they're there for you and you playing around, you're going to end up losing them and won't get no more love from that deep person that been through chaos and try to love you because they don't want you to suffer like in life like the way they did. And last but not least, <laughs> when someone says, this is what gets me right here, <laughs> it's real sad. When someone says, you're not my type, they make me laugh hard to the point I shake my head, which be the main ones who end up choosing to give time to folks who put them in competition to just end up used. Because let me tell you, the types of people that's something, let me tell you types of people that pull this type of fuckery on folks that turn down deep folks because you're so used to generic folks that's not in tune with themselves. Now, let me tell you this. You can't validate if someone is your type based on how someone looks and you didn't even observe how they are around others and how they act around you alone and how they act around you with their people around along with the fact of knowing the person personally and understanding what they stand for is the only way you'll discover if they're your so-called type or not. And if you're going to be explaining so-called your types, let me tell you, there are only two types if if we go if we go that route because there are people that be all to themselves but will show emotion and support to you like no tomorrow if you realize they're worth when others pass on them then there are, are the trifling types that's going to treat you like convenience when their so-called side or main piece with benefits messing up and going to frustrate you with competition of other men and women involved And that's some real deep ice cold savage talk. You can't tell a person they're not your type because your pride making you miss out on something special you could potentially have for someone that literally be up front showing you they down with you. They down to hang with you in person and all the above, but you're afraid to get you. So you use the excuse from people that's involved with themselves on awakening the levels from within telling those deep people that they're not your type, which is some BS. And, uh, yeah, let's get this one out the way. Let's get this one out the way. What sucks is when a person passes away soon in life before they ever get to be with that they love and do memorable things with. I hope I don't pass away soon because, let me tell you, I desire to have that strong feeling of hug and kiss a lady and take pictures with for memories to remember for life. You feel me? And I'll never ever deal with a lady that puts me in competition with a dude because that's that's thought shit. To have people be all on you and play and you play them all to create hate and destruction because it's not enough boys and girls turn themselves into men and women that'll look out for one another and not waste that person's time. You understand me? I'm just laying out how I feel in real life and that reality talks to you all and fuck all that smash and pass and turn down somebody that's respectable to another and look let me tell you all this and me like chilling with females I had crushes on in second third and fourth and fifth grade in person that don't count at all because it was puppy love I was super done I was super young and I never had a local female to bond with when I was age around 17 and up for me to remember but other than that, this post is deep, thoughtful talks of reality, folks. Because you need to realize and stop turning polite people down that will look out for you. And for people that act hard because you're blind to seeing someone who acts almighty and strong when someone who shows humble care to you is the one you should love and care for back, support heavily. And um, 
I'm done. That's all I gotta say. I'm out.